Hi, I'm Patricio, and this is going to be a very quick walkthrough on how to uh, reproduce the chessboard animation that I created using After Effects and the following plugins, uh, Element by Video Copilot and Skybox Studio by Metal. They work wonderfully together, and you can reproduce some beautiful 3D scenes. I'm just going to use the chessboard um, starter pack 3D model that comes with elements, uh, and uh, of course you can import whatever objects you want, uh, but that's going to be how I produce uh, this animation. I also have a billboard, which is again one of the starter uh, pack elements that come uh, with elements. So uh, let's get started. First thing you want to do is create a square composition. So I usually go 1080 by 1080. So here we go, Plank After Effects project. New composition, 1080 by 1080, 30 frames per second, and 45 seconds works for what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to call this main comp, and I'll click OK. OK, so that's my square. And I'm going to import a texture and a video that I already have created. The texture is a seamless wood uh, texture, and the video is a 45 second video of uh, somebody playing chess. So, file, import, chess video, chess wood. There we go. I'm going to import those into the main comp. It doesn't matter about scale or anything like that, I'm just bringing them in. Going to make a new solid. Now the solid's going to be what I apply the element effect on. So I'm going to just call it element. Uh, 1080 by 1080. That's great. There we go. So I am going to now uh, find the video copilot effect. Uh, video copilot elements and apply it to that uh, solid. There we go. And I don't need these to be visible. I just need them to be in here so I can link them to the plugin so that's good I just turn that off so right now I'm seeing basically nothing and I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to before I jump into element I'm going to make a camera and 24 millimeter I'm just going to call a setup cam now the reason I'm calling it setup cam is because this camera is not going to be the camera I'm animating this camera is just uh, used to look at the um, 3D scene that I'm creating with elements so that's there for later. Back to elements. Scene setup. So that'll load element 2.2.2 and here I am. I'm going to go to the starter pack and click on the chessboard. And there it is, the chessboard in all its glory. It should come with the basic elements. Uh, I'm going to go with a 2K uh, backdrop uh, and I'm just going to turn that on. You can choose any equirectangular backdrop you you have and import it and use that if you wish. But I'm just going to use that one. Uh, and I'm also going to make a table. Uh, so I'm going to go create, plane, and I will make this a little bit bigger than chessboard. Let's try 2.5 by 2.5. And it's white, so I'm going to change the texture to be one of the textures I imported, which I didn't set up yet. But I will go with layer 1 for the, the texture for that. So I'll preemptively do that. Okay, so that should be good for now. I'm going to click OK to get back to After Effects. All right. Now I'm going to move my camera up a bit so I can look and see the plane. There we go. And rotate it down. There. Now I'm going to back to Elements, and let's go to Custom Layers, Texture Maps, and I set up one for the wood, so there we go. Bam! It pops up, and we'll make two the video. So it's not set up yet in this particular scene, but we'll get to it. Okay, so I want more than one chessboard. I want to duplicate this, so I'm going to go to Group, Particle Replicator, I'm going to go 12. And it's on point by default. I'm going to switch that to plain. And there's my 12 chess boards, but they're overlapping. So I'm going to separate them a little bit. And so they don't overlap. Like that. Let's have a look at that. Two. There we go. That way they're not crossing each other and overlapping and stuff like that. So that's a good start. Now what I want to do is go to uh, Render Settings. Uh, as you can see, you don't see the 
uh, 3D background. I want to turn that on. So physical environments show in background. There's my 3D background. I'm going to make it a little darker by adding some fog. So I'll enable the fog. There we go. And then I think what I'll do is adjust the camera cutoff to 1. That'll allow me to uh, create a camera that's really close to the 3D object without worrying about the actual object starting to clip. So that's the first step. Now to create the billboard. In order to do that, I'm going to duplicate this element effect. So let me hit save. Ooh, I haven't saved it yet. Uh, what should I call this? Chess board tutorial. There we go. So save often. OK. Duplicates. Now I've got uh, a duplicate of that element. I'm going to call this billboard. And I might as well rename the first one to chess boards. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a billboard and place it over here. Uh, so how do I do that? By duplicating this. And the reason you're duplicating this is because I don't want to make 12 um, billboards. I just want to make one. And I'm going to switch this from full uh, render to unified. This is the billboard uh, one. What this is going to do is allow me to basically like stack and unify element uh, effects together. Um, so let's go to this scene. Actually, now I'll, I'll, I'll show you how it looks like when it's 12. So I'm going to set up. Uh, now I'm working with the billboard uh, element plugin. So yes, there's the chessboard, but I don't need it in this one uh, because I have it in the other one. So I'm going to go delete the table and the chessboard. Go back to starter pack, and there's my billboard. I click on that, and there it is. So what I'm going to do is rotate it 90 degrees. I know because I created this from before. And I'm just going to unfurl the billboard. Uh, and you see this poster 1 and poster 2. That's where I'm going to link to that video. So post, says I have poster 1, diffuse, low texture, chest video. And then I'll do the same thing for poster 2. Oh, video, chess video. Okay, so if I look around, you can see I got that video now set up on the billboard. And that's going to work just fine for me. So I'm going to click OK. There you go. Twelve of them, all in the same places where the chess boards were. I don't need that. Just need the one. So I'm going to go reduce it from 12 down to 1. There we go. And I'm going to move it back to the ending point, which will be roughly somewhere here. There we go. So let me just minimize everything here. Save. You can see there's no moving camera, but you can see that the billboard is playing that video. So what I'm going to do is start the camera here and end it here, but I'm not going to move this camera. I'm now done with this camera. This is just to help set up the scene. In fact, I could go ahead and delete it, or I can turn it off. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to turn it off and show you the next step. The next step is you select the main comp, and we're going to use a script that comes uh, with the Skybox Studio uh, by Metal, and we're going to go Scripts, Skybox Creator. That opens up a dialog box, and you can see main comp, the name of the comp that we did. None of this is selectable or changed. That's OK. All we want to do is generate the, the final output. But what I do want to do is use 3D null camera control. That's a personal preference. You don't want to, you don't need to do that. If you are OK animating the camera itself, great. I kind of like to use the null, so I'm going to enable that. And as you can see, I am using 3D plugins. It's enabled by default. That's fine, too. So when I hit Generate Skybox, you're going to see the screen flickering a little bit. And what it's going to be doing is creating a bunch of cameras and uh, different pre-comps and a final scene which has the equirectangular deformation. And uh, I'll break that down uh, once I get there. So here we go. Why is it not letting me do that? Strange. I am pushing my camera, uh, my video card, so I guess I'm okay here, but whatever. So let's go down to one view. There we go. This is the equator rectangular finished product that you're going to want to render off and send to um, YouTube. 
and this will be transformed into a 360 video. But if you notice, I can scrub through this thing. You can see the video is playing, uh, but there's no camera movement. We'll get to that in a second. So this is a comp that was created called Skybox Output that has it all set up for us with a, another pre-comp that uh, was created by that script called Skybox Conversion. And it has an effect applied to it, which is a metal skybox converter, which is converting a cube map to equirectangular at 4,320 by 2,160. All you have to do is set the width and just the rest. So um, I'm going to open this, and you're going to see the uh, cube map, how it looks like before it's deformed into this, just so you know. There it is. That's the cube map. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the center. That's the top, bottom, uh, left, right, and rear. So that's the 3D scene. It's uh, beautiful. It works great with uh, Element, as you can see, and uh, it is translated very nicely into a 3D uh, equator rectangular video. All we that uh, is left to do is to create that animation. So let's go back to the main comp. And here you can see uh, the script added a bunch of stuff with a lot of cameras, front, uh, right, rear, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's my setup cam. I don't need it anymore, but there it is. It's turned off because I turned it off. There's the element and those two textures. And the null, which is the one uh, that I will be using to animate the object. So let's have a look at this. Here's the null, and there's the camera in the starting position. And there's no movement yet, so I'm just going to hit P for position and R for rotation. And I'll start in about a second into it. There we go. Mm, those two. And I am going to end it off at 44 seconds. One, two. So I'm going to end. I uh, might as well start since I've got this uh, at the end position. I'm going to put it into the end position right now. So I want it to be looking at the billboard nice and close. So let's uh, lift it up a little bit. Uh, bring it up a little closer. Uh, something like that. And let's rotate it so it's looking up at the billboard. There we go. So it looks nice and big. There we go. That's how I'd like this to end. And let's get to the beginning point. Uh, it's too far away. Let's bring it up closer. Somewhere there. It's too low because you can't see the table. So let's bring it up. There we go. I think that works. That's a good start. Something like that. OK, so it's going to slowly rise. And as it's rising, it's looking at the billboard. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Around uh, 21 seconds or so. I think I'm just going to nudge it so it stays low, just for dramatic effect. Uh, that way it starts to rise. Uh, let's start this at 22. Oh, I was lucky. Okay, so that's roughly what I'm doing. All of the animations that I do here in my main comp will trickle down over to the main comp final output. So when I click there, you can see this is that frame, there's that frame, that frame, etc., etc. So it's all it's all coming through, which is great. Um, that's basically it. Uh, once you have your animation set up the way you like it. And I think that's pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is just uh, ease in and out uh, the animation and maybe give it a little rotation for dramatic effect. Let's try 10. Yeah, and let's make it look down. There. So what's going to happen is it's slowly rotating back to a level and it's going to look up at the final title. I think maybe I could probably get a little closer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. OK, so that's the animation. The last thing I want to do in the final comp is just create a new solid. And I'll call it fade. And this is just so that I can you know, fade in from black 
Uh, so transparency, I'll make the fade about a second long. There we go. Switch it down to zero. Copy that, go to 44. Paste and go back up to 100 at 45.29. 44.29. Okay, so basically fades in uh, to the video from black, and then you see the video, and then the animation eases in and it goes through the thing and then eventually fades out. Now the reason this is taking long to render is because as you can imagine it is 10 of these, uh, sorry six of these and they're all 1080p and there's elements applied on it all and there's video and texturing and a lot of stuff going on. And on top of that, that is also converted by the Skybox converter from the uh, cube map to the Aquarius Rectangular finished product. So that is how you do it. Um, save and render. You can render within After Effects or Adobe Media Encoder. I will have a separate tutorial for that. So thank you for watching. I hope uh, you found this handy and um, yeah.